This is Matt. Get Ben Kayak Fishing signing on again. We are going to switch it up. It's a little too windy to get on the water today. Uh, it's been a little too windy the last couple weeks, but it's coming. La Jolla's coming, I promise. Um, high surf. There are guys that are going out, but the surf's a little high for me. Uh, the catch reports are decent. Some guys are coming back with a nice yellowtail, but uh, far from few are getting yellowtail. It's just basically a good calico bite and a rock cod bite, white fish bite, stuff like that. So today we are going to make some molds. Here's a uh, here's a mold I made recently. Here's another mold I made recently. These are made out of plaster, and the plaster that we're using today it's called oh, plaster of Paris. So we got a big 25 pound bag here. What we're gonna do is. I'm going to measure out the amount of plaster that we need, put it in this container, we fill it with water, colder water to uh, speed up the process, then we're going to put that into this Pyrex bowl, little uh, baking tin. Then what we'll do is we'll let it sit, we'll let it harden, we'll take our, uh, our bait mold that we're going to use uh, as an example out of the mold and then it'll be ready to go to pour and when i say pour i mean we're going to take some plastic that's been melted down from other jigs that i've made recently such as tubes i got little tubes here so and i got big slugs i got all kinds of swim baits uh the point is is I've moved on into another market now. I've started making uh, jigs. I've started making underspins. I've started making uh, kind of stuff like that. I've started making plastics now. And I've been selling them to friends and family and also watchers and subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, I've been kind of handing them out to people randomly that I know in the fishing community, asking them to fish my products, and then get back to me with their feedback and let me know how they like it, what I can do better, and how I can kind of curtail my recipe on colors to entice the fish more. So right now I'm kind of in experimental mode. We're gonna build a mold. We're gonna basically probably build a slug mold because that's what I really like to throw right now. And the sand bass are just killing it in the bays that we have right now. So we're probably gonna make a slug mold. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna measure everything out. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the process after that, okay? So stay tuned, this is coming later. Okay, so now we have our plaster and a little bit of water in there. So what I'm gonna do is kinda loosen up the sides so that water can really penetrate down the sides well. Then what I'm gonna do is take the screwdriver. I'm just gonna stir it up. Let me see if you guys can make sure you can see really well. All right, we're gonna stir this up. We're gonna be careful to not make a lot of air poppets, which are gonna make air bubbles. So we're gonna stir this kind of consistently. I'm gonna make sure you really get it all over the place it will start to kind of start congealing. Towards the bottom. So the process for this, it's gonna take about 30 minutes for this to solid and get real hard. Hard enough that we can pull the bait out and basically start to use the mold. And Normally, I like to mod podge the front or the tops of my molds, but I'm out of it. So today, we're gonna use olive oil. Olive oil actually works really well because it makes your bait come out really smooth. Something I've learned on my journey doing this. So this almost looks ready to go. Put this down right here. I'll show you what we got here. So it's basically just a kind of milky color thing. So what I'm gonna do is take this Pyrex container right here, 
I'm just gonna pour it right on in there. Pour it one side. Try not to get that many air bubbles. Alright. This here, that back in there. Try to not make a huge mess, which is impossible in some cases. So I'm gonna put this, put this right here. So what I have here is a board. I like to take this board and just go like this. And this gets all those, all these little bubbles will start coming up to the surface. And also, kind of spread those bubbles out so they don't bunch together you can blow on it and they'll start to disperse a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit here for a couple minutes let it get a little bit harder so I can put the bait in there that we want to replicate so that's the next process so stay stay uh, tuned for that one so here we go a couple more minutes okay so hmm. it's solid enough that we can stick our baits in there that we want to remake and it should work so here we are first one it's like a little carrot slash slug just drop it right in there and the second one make sure it's clean because any debris or slits will come out see this one's got a little cut on the side so so there we go same thing Oops. just drop it right in there and it just sits so you guys can see that well here's another one this is a slug that I love to throw see I just messed that up put the wrong side in I want to go smooth side on top so boom Tuck that right back in there. Boom. Next one. Bigger one. Nice big slug. This is what I'm basically going to be throwing a very, very big portion of when I go to La Jolla for calico bass, rockfish, halibut, everything. I throw these slugs year round, so we'll just throw one more in there. He don't fit. You know what? We won't. We'll leave this guy out. So now what I like to do is just kind of press them in. So these ones right here are rounded. So for the rounded ones, what I'd like to do is kind of put those in a little bit more. But basically you just tap them on down. Just push them on in there. Alright, should have probably put my gloves on. So for right now, we're going to let this sit. We'll let it sit for 30 minutes, and then we'll come back to it. So stay tuned, we're going to wait, wait for this mold to solid up, and we'll go from there. We'll start making some baits. Okay, so what we have now is we have a hard mold. Solid, solidified. So the next step is to remove the baits. And where's my tool? Sometimes you can just kind of push around, see if they almost just loosen up. Mm. 
What am I looking for here? Just kind of stick it in there and remove it. Pull it right out and remove the excess. Voila. So if I had Mod Podge right now, which I don't, because I'm out, I just take it and I just with my brush and I just make sure it's all up in there so that the next time I go to use it it's nice and uh, smooth there's no rough edges when this really gets hard Let me show you do the same thing for this guy so when you pull it out and you get some of the plaster on the top it's gonna definitely remove itself on the sides but that's okay don't worry about it <clears throat> Give it a quick little, little blow look at that came out great so far now these guys these guys are a little bit more in there so these guys what I might do is take my razor and just make a little incision around it so it's loose So this one was a little too buried and the side came off on that one a little bit too much, which is okay. All I gotta do is just now shave it down a little bit. Trying to be a little bit more sensitive with this guy this time around. Well, it wasn't exactly the most perfect pull, but I can make that work. Okay, so now, this is where the magic starts. I'm going to uh, let these harden up just a little bit more, and then we're gonna apply a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna do the plastola part of this. So stay tuned a little bit more, we'll wait, and we'll come back and we'll make sure this is good to go. All right, so the mold is out. It's a little rough on the edges because I had to chisel it out. Let's 
a little more effort than I expected, but to fix that problem, you just go around the edges with your razor. Extremely easy to get all the rough edges carved away. messy of a job but it's better than buying an extremely old expensive mold now I will probably eventually go down the road where I will buy my own mold but until I can find one like I like it I'm gonna keep on making it let's get this cleared off Okay, so this is what we're left with. We're left with this. So, like I've already said, normally I would Mod Podge it. That way it stays very glossy and very nice. Don't have Mod Podge today. So, take my brush, a little bit of olive oil, and just brush it. By doing this, you're lubricating it. You're also getting away any little chips or residue that's inside that's left that I might have not have gotten the first time. And again, the reason why we're doing this is because plaster when it hardens up it's gonna kind of look something like this it's gonna look a little brittle so in order to get nice smooth baits we need to apply some type of surface that's going to be smooth so in temporary fix all the oil will work great okay now that we're done with that part, over here, I'm going to take some Plastisol. Nothing special, just a kind of a sparkled Plastisol that I have. I'm going to put it into the microwave. It'll get all stinky and discolored so you can see it starting to to get there just because we're inside I'm gonna put this on normally I have a fan going and all that shit but today I'm keeping it simple so not quite there yet that'll do a little bit more before it's still up and down we'll do another 30 seconds Plastisol is supposed to be perfect at 350. 351. Okay, we're ready to pour. So here it goes. And this is hand pouring at its, its slowest stage right here. Make sure it. It's on there nice and well, and layered nice and good. All right, next one. All right, number three. I can tell from 
three. Don't think it's gonna come out right. Let's, I might have to shave it down a little bit more. And this guy can use a little bit more. Okay, and that's that. Typically what I do is I wait a minute, wait a minute, and basically let them harden. And then what I'll do is I'll pull them off and I'll just throw them in my bucket of water over here. <coughs> then I'll just repeat the process. If I have more plastic oil and I want to make more, I'll make more. So it don't take that long for these to start to harden. he's done it's a bit warm but you get the drift from that not bad throw that in the bucket of water he's still a little warm uh, I don't think that's going to come out good. I took it out when the process saw was still a little warm. Yeah, it came out fine actually. Oh! Check this big boy out. Yeah, he just didn't get hot enough, so... So things like that, I took it out too fast. So, that's okay. What I'll do is I'll just kinda dry them off, throw them back on in there for the next round. So, it turned out okay. I think that what I'll end up doing is cutting away this guy and shaving down this guy this guy and this guy are perfect these two guys though i need to leave a little bit a little bit more work done to them that's okay and for the finished products so with this guy the excess that's on there all I do is just trim it right off drop shot little slug right there doesn't need to be beautiful or perfect Boom. don't even really need to trim anything off of this guy so there's the finished products. Little slugs. So, there's the slug that we copied. There's the slug that we made. Pretty close. Obviously, this one's a little prettier. But, for my purposes, it'll work for me. So. That is the general idea of how you use Plaster of Paris to make a mold for you to hand pour Plastisol in to make fishing baits. So, so, so before I sign out, I just wanted to show you guys what I have been up to lately. These are all the different kind of slugs that I've been making. And these are all for me, my personal collection. Obviously for some of my friends and family. Uh, I've been making all kinds of just nice nice stuff for me for, for La Jolla. 
for the channel so that I can uh, be stocked up and ready to go when this bite really starts. So it's been fun. Uh, I got little paddle tails. Uh, I got some bigger paddle tails. I got some all kinds of different baits and it's been definitely a fun little journey so far doing this so you guys get the picture so if you uh, are tired of paying prices that are getting a little extreme like I was this is a possibly a good solution for you here's the slug that we made earlier toss them in the slug inspection there's another one here's another one Here's another one. It's like poop color. So you get the hang of it. In the box. In the tackle bag. Ready to go. Here's some tubes that I did recently. Now they are by no means pretty. But the fish will, will pound on these. Maybe if you eventually we'll do a video of some tubes soon too. So you get the hang of it. Tubes, swim jigs, slugs. La Jolla's calling soon, boys. So, appreciate you guys.